It's the third week in August and this is my first trip tench fishing this season. I've left it a little late in the year but because this is a tench lake I should be able to catch some here. I have plumbed the lake in front and selected two swims. My main swim is to the left, close to the marginal reeds just as the water deepens. My backup swim is to the right and further out. Both swims are virtually the same depth, which is handy. In my experience, tench have a favourite method of escape. They head for the nearest reed bed. As I'm fishing right next to a reed bed, I need to be ready to hold them when I get a bite. With this in mind, when I strike, I strike to the side away from the reeds. This gives me the advantage of already pulling the fish away from the reeds before it has chance to react. So long as I can keep it out in open water, it is just a matter of playing the fish out. In my main swim I'm feeding 6 mil coarse pellets. In the backup swim I'm using sweet corn. I'm using soft pellets on the hook. To stop the soft pellets splitting I carefully follow the bend in the hook with the pellet. I find they stay on well during the cast once they are safely on the hook. My rig is an ordinary insert waggler rig. I'm using an unloaded insert waggler. You can use loaded if you like, I just prefer unloaded. Tench find a bait easier to pick up if allowed a little room. So I've set the depth to allow 4 inches of line to lay on the lake bed, but with the telltale shot 5 inches from the hook. By feeding little and often, I keep the tench coming throughout the morning. I know the fish will go off eventually, and just before midday I start to see finicky bites. I miss the odd bite, and then I lose a fish right in the swim. To give the fish more confidence, I give them a little more room to take the bait. I move the float and all the shot two inches further up the line. This has the effect of laying two more inches of line on the lake bed, giving the fish more time and more room before the float indicates a bite. I decide to rest my main swim and switch to my second. In the second swim, the wind, which has got a lot stronger, is pulling the float causing it to drift. It's only just drifting, so I add a number 8 just above the hook which will rest on the bottom and act as an anchor. Despite my best efforts, I cannot hit the bites in the right hand swim. The main swim has been rested for a while now, so I'll give it another go. After giving the tent a little more room on the rig, I manage to hook and land a couple of small ones, but then I begin to catch small perch. I change the corn on the hook to try and put the perch off, but to no avail. This is a sure sign there are no tench in the swim and that my tench session is done for the morning. No doubt they will regain their appetite later in the day but for me it's time to go. Thank you very much indeed for watching.